All right, now what you're looking at right now is uh, the ATEM Mini Pro. I have the ATEM Streaming Bridge, and I also have a uh, little five inch monitor, uh, the Feel World Master MA5, okay? And so just to give you a quick rundown of how this is actually set up, I have the uh, USB-C uh, from the ATEM Mini Pro going into my MacBook Pro over here, 16 inch, I'll show you that in a second. I have the, uh, the HDMI out, which is also controlling my multi-view, going over into the macbook pro as well and then i have the ethernet which we're basically using as the third output on the atem mini pro going into the atem streaming bridge and what's happening is the streaming bridge is converting that ethernet and allowing me to basically stream locally give me another hdmi out giving my program out and that's what you see actually going on right now into the field world um, master m a Five. So I'm going to show you real quick as far as what 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 I have going on over here on the MacBook Pro. I didn't want to put it all on one system, but I'm just running NDI back and forth. Um, so I'm going to switch over there and show you exactly how all of this is working. And then I'm going to take you through the steps to how you can actually set this up. All right. All right. So right now you're looking at me in the normal A10 Mini Pro USB-C webcam output, all right? So you're, you're just looking at me, this is what it's normally gonna look like, okay? All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the multi-view, all right? So you can see that there. So now I'm actually showing you the multi-view so we know that that's working. So we have the USB-C out that's working, all right? And then we have the HDMI out, which is set to multi-view. You can see that's working. One of the things I want you to notice though, is that the on air for the streaming bridge down here, that is currently showing on air. That is what's going out to the mix. I keep wanting to say mix master, but it's going to the Feel World Master MA5 monitor. So if I switch back over um, to the overhead view, you can actually get a look and see what's going on there. So you see right now, that's so we have, so you see this is happening at the same time. I have the preview that is going out and then I have a program out that is happening. What happens is if I turn this on air button off, you're going to see this program out disappear. And that's basically what we're gonna talk about today as far as actually showing you how to set this up. Because once you set it up, I don't have to go back into settings again and do it. I can just press the on air button and there my program output actually comes back. So I'm real excited about that because again, this saves you a tremendous amount of money from having to upgrade from the A10 Mini Pro, which is still a great device to go up to the A10 Mini Extreme. Just, you know, for those of you who don't need the eight inputs, just for you to be able to get multi-view and program out. So let's walk through the ATEM software, the control software to show you exactly how you set this up. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have everything connected to the computer that you're going to be utilizing. So you wanna make sure you have both the ATEM Mini Pro and the ATEM Streaming Bridge connected to the computer. Both of those things use USB-C. And you wanna open up the ATEM Setup software. So there are two different softwares. You have ATEM Control and then you have ATEM Setup. You wanna make sure that you have ATEM Setup, which is what you're looking at right now, all right? And so when you have them both connected, it may default to the ATEM Mini Pro, but if you click the arrow, you wanna make sure it goes to the streaming bridge because we first wanna set up the streaming bridge, okay? So choose the ATEM streaming bridge and the ATEM um, software setup, and then you wanna click here on the settings, all right? We wanna click here on the settings. All right, so you don't have to change any of this unless you wanna change any of it. But what we wanna do is go down to where it says stream service and you wanna make sure that you select local network without key. All right, so you wanna make sure uh, that you click local network without key and then you wanna make sure um, that you hit save. I say go ahead and save now. So it's gonna close it out. What you wanna do is open that back up. And then you'll see up here, there's an external ATEM Mini Pro. You wanna make sure that you click on that. That's going to bring up some more settings. So here you can name the platform, whatever you wanna name it. I keep it very simple. 
I just name it um, ATEM Streaming Bridge, and I don't change uh, the server information. You know, so so name the platform, whatever you want to name it, but um, I, I don't I don't change the server information, and I make sure I change my streaming quality um, to high. You can put it on HyperDeck High, which is the highest thing that they have. Um, for me, if I'm because I'm using this sometimes record, I will do HyperDeck High, but streaming high is definitely a good place to start. Um, and you can kind of play with that to see what's going to work best for you. And then you want to go to save a Tim settings. You want to make sure that you click save. All right, what's going to happen is that's going to create a XML profile. We're going to take this XML XML profile and we're going to need to load that into the A10 Mini. So I've already done this. Name it whatever you want to name it. All right. And then you're going to click save. All right. So after that's done, you can get out of the setup control software and you want to go back over here to A10 software control all right and what you want to do um, is if you actually look in the toolbar if you look in the toolbar look at the top um, you want to make sure you click on stream and then you want to go to where it says load streaming settings all right load streaming settings so then once you click on load streaming settings this is where you're going to load that XML file. OK, so those of you that understand um, the A10 Mini Pro, you know, you can save your audio, your EQ. You see, I have a couple of those things there specific um, to one of the mixers that I use. But again, you want to load the stream settings from the XML file that you just saved. And again, you do that by going to stream and then load streaming settings and then you will choose the file and then you will import. Then you want to go over here to where it says output. So probably yours may either be defaulted to palette or it may be defaulted to media player, but you want to make sure you click on output and then from output, you see where it says platform, because remember the A10 mini is a standalone encoder. So you technically don't need the computer after setting this up the first time. You technically don't need the computer to be able to stream. You can go directly to whatever platform, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, Restream that you want. Um, but what we're doing is we created the platform ATEM Streaming Bridge. All right. Again, the server, I don't change that quality streaming high. And what happens now when I hit the own air button so I can hit on air either in the software or I can hit on where on air, excuse me, on the A10 mini. And then my program is going to start streaming the program out. And again, I'll show you that one more time in the overhead view right here. You can see we have the program out um, that's actually coming in on that feel world master ma5 so again we have the USB C um, output that's going from the a10 mini pro and then we have the multi view um, output that's going <laughs> from the a10 mini pro and then we have an additional program output that the a10 streaming bridge created for us so again this is going to save you some money you know what i'm saying this is going to save you some time this is going to save you some headache and i know a lot of people have been trying to figure this out i just wanted to make a video to show you exactly how to get this done